everyone and welcome back. So I know it's been a while again, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, um, you will have seen that I recently had a, it's not a big test, but I think it's a pretty important test. I had a gastric emptying study or gastric emptying test done and that is usually... I don't want to say gastroparesis because that's like quite severe and again as I'm saying this I tried waiting to have my official results from the doctor and talk about them but it's been like almost a month and I just wanted to make this already so some people it's used for diagnosis of gastroparesis other people like gastric dysmotility if that's how you say it are just like slow stomach movement basically um, so I had that and I want to talk a bit about it for those of you who have not had it done or you're about to have it done or whatever because it's an interesting test and some people have it done differently but I'm going to explain how it happened for me. <laughs> so basically I had an appointment, I think it was a Thursday, and I had to fast that morning so after midnight I could not eat anything and I show up at the hospital and... Mm, I don't even like thinking about it because it was like that gross but I know some people they have to eat like an egg salad sandwich I know some people who have to I heard someone who ate like a banana with the stuff mixed in what I like to call is a radioactive egg sandwich I know it's not technically like I'm sure there's a more technical term for it but I call it radioactive eggs because that's what it looked like kind of sounds like to me um so it's this egg I had an egg sandwich and a glass of water I had to wear gloves because if I touched the radioactive material and got it anywhere else it would like disrupt the test basically so I had to eat with gloves and then take off the gloves. Um, so it was egg, toasted bread, and jelly. And the jelly is really what was not good. I'm not really a jelly person so then having like radioactive egg with jelly was like ugh. Um, that was, at first I was like, okay, I can do it, it's fine. And I ate the first half of the sandwich, started getting a little weird, and I was like, okay. As I started eating the second part, I was like, okay, Hadley, we need to keep this down because this is serious, and if I throw this up, I have to reschedule and come back another day, and I did not want to do that. So, they tell you to try to finish your meal, whatever it may be, uh, sandwich, whatever, um, I did not finish it just because I did not want to vomit, um, but if you do vomit, you know, it's not a big deal. They say it happens all the time, um, but I had maybe like this much of my sandwich left, but I did eat most of the egg. Like I just like took it apart and scraped off the jelly and just ate some of the egg because the egg is what's most important because it has the radioactive stuff mixed in. So once I was done, took off the gloves and for me... Mine was like this little machine, well it was, it was a huge machine to be quite honest. Again, check my Instagram, I have a picture of it there. Or maybe I'll insert it here if I can find it. Um, but it's a machine and it's huge and there's like two plates and you just like kind of sandwich yourself between it and then stand like there for a minute without moving and it just like takes a picture of your stomach and then you just like shimmy yourself out. And I was allowed to do whatever f for the, th it was 30 minutes, 30 minutes. An hour and an hour I think something like that like it was different intervals of time so between the 30 minutes and the hour like whatever time was in between I was allowed to kind of do whatever which I know some people they had to lay on a table with the thing on their stomach um, luckily I did not have that um, but again like you're in the hospital like, are you really gonna leave for 20 minutes to just come back or whatever so we walked around a little bit um, but we didn't really go far. <laughs> of course, uh, all the GI testing is always in the bowels of the, uh, bowels, da -da. Um, it's always in like the basement of the hospital, so there's never any Wi-Fi, so I'm just like playing like Wi-Fi free games. Um, I mean, there's not really much else. The sandwich was gross, but then every, it was 30 minutes, 30 minutes, hour and hour, I just shimmy back in, stand for a minute, shimmy back out, do whatever. Um, so fast forward, I was supposed to hear from them like that day or the next day and I didn't hear. So I think we called them and they said that my test, cause since they have it at different hour marks, like the one hour mark, two hour mark, 
three hour and four hour or something like that. Um, they said even at the four hour mark it was slow, but at the two hour mark, two hour mark, it was definitely slow. Um, so at the end of it, I had like 11, 12 percent left, and I think it's like you're supposed to have less than 10 percent, so I'm like right on the border for the four hour mark. But for the two hour mark, they said it was not good. So they gave me medication, and of course I can't remember what it's called, but if I find it, I'll insert it. Um, but basically, it's a liquid medication that you take um, before every meal, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner before those, and then before you go to bed. But for some reason, my doctors didn't feel like communicating with me, or the pharmacy didn't feel like communicating with me, but we did not know that the bottle had to be refrigerated, and once you mix, because you have to like mix two solutions to make the formula you take, once you mix them, it's only good for 10 days. So we had this out on the counter. <laughs> I don't know for how many days we had it, but like it usually on the little tag on the bottle, it says like refrigerate, like only good for 10 days. It did not say any of that. We had to like read the fine print of the like stuff or whatever. I don't know. It was really confusing. So I haven't been taking it because of that. We were like, whoa, scary, not right. So we're waiting for like the next batch to come and me to start that safely while refrigerated. <laughs> um, so if you do get any liquid medication after this, make sure you read if it's refrigerated or not, or always call your doctor because I'm really grateful that didn't do something really funky. <laughs> and it never tasted weird, like it did not taste good, but it didn't taste like funky, bad, weird, you know? Um, so that's kind of my experience. It was very boring. The sandwich was disgusting. <laughs> um, and I hope to have a meeting with my doctor to go over more concrete things because like I said some people use this for gastroparesis so does this mean that I have gastroparesis as like a mild form is this something I need to watch out for um so I don't know I hope to have get up oh, I hope to update you guys soon um and also again if you are following my Instagram you'll know that I just had my endoscopy and colonoscopy this is I'm two days I had it yesterday yesterday yeah uh, I had that done yesterday, today's Tuesday, and I had it done Monday. Um, so once I have all of that information, um, I will definitely make a video about it. They did take tissue samples, like right down here, I think, they, my lower esophagus. Um, so when I get those, <clears throat> the biopsy information back, I'll definitely let you guys know because she said it was either um, a sign of acid reflux, which I think I have because I have the whole, uh, or it's a mast cell thing. So hopefully I'll hear from that soon and I'll make a video on that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!